under the Modernization of Cosmetics Regulations Act, or MOCRA, one of the obligations of the brand owner, the responsible person, is to put products on the market which are safe. That's always been true, that's always been the case, but MOCRA does introduce some new requirements for safe, safety substantiation. So what it says is, the responsible person shall ensure and maintain records supporting that there is adequate safety substantiation for the safety of the cosmetic product that you're putting onto the market. Now the wording is very interesting for the safety substantiation. What they, the words that they use are adequate substantiation of safety means tests, studies, research, analyses, or other evidence or information that is considered among experts qualified by scientific training and experience to evaluate the safety of cosmetics products and their ingredients, sufficient to, su to support a reasonable certainty that, that a cosmetic product is safe. So that is the extent of the definition and what they are leaning towards of course is that the, it is the responsibility of the responsible person, they always had to put safe products in the market, now they're saying that you have to have the evidence for that and you need to show that you've uh, done all of the necessary testing, investigation to ensure safety of the product. Our experience with the cosmetics product safety report in Europe is that it is the gold standard which is adopted by not just Europe but many other international countries as the best evidence of safety substantiation of the cosmetic product. So our very strong recommendation is that for US products we adopt the same approach and we produce a what is effectively a CPSR for products which are placed on the US market. Now for those multinationals who already have product on the European market, who are placing the same product on the US market, then we need to make sure that those documents are up to date and accurate and complete. And that then should be our first line of defense for safety substantiation of US products. And that is where I think the FDA, once they get experience of looking at product safety dossiers, and if they're looking at the evidence which has uh, been, uh, been designed for European requirements, then they have to conclude that we have adequate safety substantiation to be considered among experts, qualified by, qualified by scientific training and experience, that they have a reasonable certainty that the product is, is safe and they can reach that conclusion. So our very strong advice to our clients is to adopt the European approach which is fast becoming an international gold standard for substantiation of safety of pro cosmetic products placed onto the US market.